In this video, you will see a demonstration of the vehicle routing software running in Microsoft Excel environment. This application was used by a third party logistics service provider to plan their daily distribution operations. Every morning, the planner needs to plan for the day's delivery. Because of a huge number of orders, the manual planning process is tedious and time consuming. It usually takes about two hours to manually plan the delivery routing. The planning process involves consolidating orders by geographical zone, and within each zone, grouping customers that are near to one another. The planner has to ensure that the orders assigned to a vehicle do not exceed the volume and weight capacity of the vehicle. The vehicle routing application is embedded in the transport management system. It is like a black box, the planner does not need to access it directly, he submits a routing request, and the transport management system will pre-process the order information into an input file for the routing engine to process. In this demo, I will bring you through the process step by step, which will be run automatically in the actual system. Each time the planner submits a routing request, the transport management system will prepare an input file in text format, and place it into an input folder. The planner can submit multiple requests, and these files will be processed sequentially. Once the routing engine has processed an input file, it will move the input file and the result file to an output folder. The output file will have the same name and convention as the input file, with a prefix, to indicate that it is a result file. If the routing engine detects an exception, example, an order with total capacity exceeding the capacity of available vehicles, it will be outputted as an unperformed file in the output folder. I will now activate the routing engine, it will take about one minute to process around 100 orders. Because the routing engine is running on a heuristic algorithm, increasing number of orders will not result in an exponential increase in computing time needed to search for a feasible solution. When solving larger problems, Heuristic approaches are often preferred as they are more likely to find a feasible solution, within a reasonable time. Optimization completed. The routing engine has successfully completed processing the routing request. There are a total of 94 orders, and the routing engine suggested using 14 vehicles. The volume and weight utilizations of vehicles are computed as shown. The volume utilization computation ignores the empty spaces that would result in actual packing, which is a container loading problem, another class of optimization problem. Vehicle routing problem and container loading problem are often solved separately to reduce complexity. To mitigate this problem, we can reduce the maximum capacity of vehicles by 10% when defining the constraints. The number of packages and number of drop points are also given. One drop point refers to one delivery location. A plot on the right shows the delivery routes for all the vehicles. In this plot, we can see that the distribution center is located in the middle, serving customers around it. The routing engine plans it routing based on linear distances between any two locations. It does not take into consideration of actual road distances. The travel time between locations are controlled by setting the vehicle's speed parameter. The output file will be retrieved by the transport management system and processed into delivery orders that are issued to the respective delivery drivers. If the planner wanted to check the actual route on a map, he can use another application that displays the results of the routing engines onto the Bing map. This application, also built in Excel, provides visualization of the planned routes on the actual roads provided in Bing map. Activate this visualization application and click the refresh button 
to reload the latest results generated by the routing engine. Select the result file that you would like to view, using the Select File drop-down menu. Next, select the vehicle using the Select Vehicle drop-down menu. This application allows users to view one vehicle at a time. On the Bing map, the distribution center and delivery locations are indicated using different color alphabets. A is the starting point, which is the distribution center. B is the first delivery point. C is the next delivery point, and so on, until the last alphabet which is the final delivery point. After the final delivery point, the vehicle will return back to the distribution center, at location A. The delivery sequences are given by the routing engine, while the road navigation between delivery locations, are decided by Bing Map, using its internal road network routing algorithm. With the vehicle routing application, it takes less than 15 minutes to come up with a delivery plan. The planner is free of the tedious planning processes, his job now is to check whether the plans are reasonable, and make any changes, or last-minute insertion if necessary.